Hi everyone and welcome, Jenny Marbles here welcoming you back to my YouTube channel for a brand new journal. Um, it's been a month since I last posted, a June disappeared in a puff of smoke and I spent most of it in the car so apologies for any delays. So I'm back to share this particular journal as part of the current Frilly and Funky challenge which is called In the Good Old Summertime. We're being invited to share projects which depict our love of the summer and one of my most favourite things about the summer is the fact that we get to spend lots of time in the garden in the warmth when it is warm in the UK um, seeing all the beautiful flowers so this has got a very, very much a floral motif um, and I've concentrated heavily on the stamps and words that come from Wendy Vecchi who is one of the signature designers for Ranger and Stampers Anonymous. <laughs> so I'll put all of the details for everything that I've used on my blog, pushingtherightbuttons.blogspot.com and there'll be a link below um, to guide you through all of that. Um, I've actually created the journal cover itself and I've um, made this paper, Distress Paints, um, just layering them up and then stamping over the top of them and then you'll see as I tip it there with the light catching it, there's also some stenciling on there with the clear gloss texture paste just to really bring it to life. And then on the cover, I've also included these charms here, um, altered with liquid pearls and with paint and a little bit of paper in there. Um, all of those from the Funky Junky Boutique. And there's a plaque here that's also got some rub-ons on and die-cut lettering. And then I've actually tied this very, very simply this time um, with sari silk. Again, with that lovely mustard colour to stay with the theme. So three signatures, all of which can be removed in typical travel and notebook star because they're on um, elastic. And I've used Tim Holtz's memoranda paper, uh, if you see any patterned paper throughout this. So I've created tags which have embossing on flowers and some of Wendy's lovely sayings. And dyed aqua paper. Um, you'll see that there are snippets of fabric throughout. And tuck spots that I've created. You'll see the similar pieces of card that have been used all the way through um, as well as the memoranda paper I've also used. Anything that was basically left over from that cover I then just die cut um, and used as, as tabs. So I've got here a flip up you'll see with the paper there. You'll notice I've actually um, torn out some images. I've been using a garden encyclopedia in a lot of my junk journals and decided it would be really nice to use those flowers. So you'll see here this page I've actually got um, one of the full um, floral images that's been um, depicted and I've just left it throughout the journal you'll see I've left them just so that people have the chance to um, colour them in so whoever it is that ends up owning this will be able to actually spend some nice quality time um, just colouring in which is a wonderful pastime in itself and on pages where there are no floral images again I've used Wendy's stamps um, so this has just been gessoed and stamped with a black archival ink so that that can remain permanent um, I've got aqua dyed paper here with a bit of a flip out. There's a pocket here. Okay, just a little tuck spot pocket. Uh, again, die cuts, a lace doily die cut and another piece from the, um, from the encyclopedia. And then some more stamping here. And this pocket here is actually a double pocket. I've used um, a, an envelope. So there's two tuck spots there and another of those tags again stamped and embossed and that's the distress oxide inks that I've used and then another floral image and a little bit of uh, tape there. Music paper um, again with some stamping and a little tuck spot, uh, a little pocket there with the uh, mat on and this fabric um, it's the same um, it's spring bouquet stamp that I've actually used the paint with and I've stamped it onto just plain calico to create my own coordinating uh, fabric various papers and you'll see flip outs I'll move at a bit more speed now through this stamped images um, little tuck spot and this one's a little pocket in here Again, with that memoranda paper really doing all the hard work there. Lace trim. 
um, little postcard that I've actually stamped on and you'll see that's also got a bit of ink and aging to it and a, um, a little tuck spot there that's been created some fabric um, with lace as well and you'll see there's even a little dragonfly charm kept up in the corner there that I've just attached on. Again highlighting those uh, images throughout and onto another flip up there and another of those pages and here's the same spring bouquet image I really wanted it to take centre stage there and another little flip up here that has the added bonus there a flip there that has the added bonus of a tiny tag in there again with blank space at the back for being able to write on watercolour paper there um, of a buff colour with a tuck spot more fabric bit of die cutting there again if you've not used your um, all of your scraps up if you're using card that you've spent time inking or painting just die cut it and and just add it in a little bit more of that fabric another flip out and the final tuck spot in the back of that signature and moving on we've got again similar kind of design but I've actually mixed the pages up here so we've got another tag there um, another of those pockets here with the die cut and you'll see there we've got the sari silk and that paper um, another of the flip ups and flip outs again the image that was on the encyclopedia and a stamped version and some more ruled paper and blank paper another of those double pockets on the music paper there we go all stamped and embossed and another of those music papers all of the flowers that I've used throughout um, I've used well I've got lots of Wendy Vecchi stamps it has to be said so um, pretty much every image is um, on its own it's an individual one I haven't duplicated images apart from the spring bouquet and this particular border which I really enjoyed using um, the centre is always kind of a double page spread as it were to give you plenty of room for writing in another of those um, vintage postcard uh, pockets there and another of those little dragonflies just a bit further down looks beautiful on the side of the uh, journal once it's then um, put together another flip out I love that rose absolutely love that rose um, and thought it really combined there um, with the pocket underneath and with all of the um, pages where I've actually stamped on them I've used white gesso just so that the images stand out a little more and also to make them easier when it does come to actually colouring on them um, that you've got something there that will give some tooth and some backing um, for any colouring media that you might use on top okay art is the heart and soul of the artist isn't that the truth and another of those flip ups there we go and little tag here little floral tag and moving on towards the back another tuck spot here and then the final tuck spot in the back of this signature here and then finally moving on we have the final of the uh, tag pockets at the front another flip out page and you'll see these this I like using the sort of same color scheme all the way through it really unifies the whole project so although the pages are similar there's always a little bit of something different so the different images different pieces of lace um, obviously different words used on um, each of the tags and with each of the images as well so and moving forward here we are another of those stamped images another of the double pockets here and more of that sari silk I really loved using that on this as well it really brought the whole thing to life so a little hydrangea there with a, a flip card and then more ruled paper the centre 
aqua spine and another little tuck spot here I love that image it's one of again another of my real favorites that one and another little pocket in here so photos can be added so as a photo mat and um, you know whoever uses it can really use it in their own way I suppose so plenty of room there I have left all the stitching um, I have just left the ends on there I really love the look of that and I've seen a number of people doing it really inspired by that particular um, idea um, Nick the booksmith in particular loves um, leaving her tags and uh, the use of lace and fabric as well so there's a number of people out there including Beth Wallen I love seeing her projects waiting to see the latest one come up on her YouTube channel so do make sure you check her out as well another of the postcards and the little dragonfly charms Linda at the Funky Junkie Boutique does carry some amazing charms it has to be said it's almost as if she set it up with junk journalists in mind um, that uh, love using that and also she puts a lot of Venice laces in in stock as well so I've just used a little of that sari silk there and another tuck spot here and we're almost at the end there's the final back cover again another of the die cuts and another little tuck spot and that all comes together you'll see it's already quite chunky um, so I've uh, kind of left it at that point and hopefully whoever uses it will have the chance to include maybe seed packets or their own memories of gardens um, but also get the chance to actually colour the pages in so that's my summertime journal hope you've enjoyed seeing it um, if you have please make sure that you give me a like and that you subscribe to my youtube channel i will try and get back here um, i'm not due to be in the car again now um, for a little while so uh, yeah hopefully i should be back with you very soon don't forget hop on over to my um to my blog pushingtherightbuttons.blogspot.com to see some stills of this some close-ups and also to get any details that you might have and it would be lovely to get some of your feedback as well okay take care for now see you soon